Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to today's video. Um, we are filming this video today on Tuesday. This is normally not a voting, excuse me, a filming day. However, as, as you know, we had a dilemma with our video we filmed on Sunday. And so most people didn't get to watch it until yesterday. So we didn't want to put too much on everybody. But we are filming this video today, folks. I am so pleased to say that we are down to the final week of this tournament. Folks, by, uh, by the end of this week, we will know the winner and we're gonna take a nice break from this tournament, uh, maybe for uh, close to three or four weeks, maybe uh, from our videos. But I hope you've enjoyed this and I just wanna uh, go ahead and start us off with the winner announcement of Sunday's video. Um, the votes came in and um, in a very surprise to many people, we do have the winner of Sunday's video with Epaphras as the winner with 60% of the vote and 40% Jabez. Folks, that is a pretty big win when you realize that Epaphras was ranked number 10, Jabez was ranked number two. That is a big win. So folks, here it is, final four people. The winner is in these four names. We will know it by the end of the week. We have Epaphroditus, our number one ranked still in the tournament. We have Justice, and then we will see in our next video, Simon of Cyrene, the man who helped Jesus carry the cross, and our latest winner, Epaphras. Okay, these are our four people. I cannot disagree. They are all four very special and I'm excited to see what happens. So we're gonna go ahead now and begin this. I just want you to realize, folks, that the winner of this video goes to the championship. Okay, so this is very big. We have first today, Justice. He is ranked number five. Then we'll look at Epaphroditus. Folks, I've changed it up a little bit for this brand new round. See, this starts today, the third round. So I've changed it up a little bit. We are gonna look at what is their personality. Now we've learned that already, but then we're gonna look at some of the qualities that a person like him would possess. Basically what that means is, we're gonna look at their personality and then we're gonna identify some qualities that he would likely have based on his personality, okay? Then we're gonna look at some weaknesses that someone with that kind of personality, we're gonna look at some weaknesses that that person would likely have, and then we're gonna look at their verse, which we've learned already. So here we go, justice. Folks, we meet him in the book of Acts chapter 1. He is the man that is famous for being considered to be the replacement of Judas Iscariot. Now, we understand they chose a different person, but he was one of the two finalists to take or to get the position of the 12th apostle. Okay, that shows you how respected and honored that this man was. People loved him. He was handpicked uh, to be that possible uh, candidate, uh, that possible position. We're told that he was an eyewitness of the entire ministry of Jesus. Folks, we've talked about that. That tells me he likely was one of the 70 disciples. We all understand that there were 12 original disciples. However, there was another group of 70 that also traveled with them and would help whatever was needed, going out, reaching people in the city. Justice must have been a part of that group, which means he likely knew Christ um, 
personally talk to him a lot. And so that's exciting. Okay. Also, he was given, justice was a nickname he was given because that name means a just person. Or in other words, a man of integrity, um, an upright person who just does things the right way. He was a good, good man, okay? And he also was an eyewitness of Jesus' resurrection. A lot of the people in the New Testament became believers much later. Jesus was already back in heaven, but we're told justice was an eyewitness. Folks, even though this tournament is about background characters, I'm telling you, justice seems to me to possibly have the biggest resume of any of the four finalists that we have. But that is no indication that he'll win, okay? But now, his personality, we learned back in round two, his personality is that he was a very serving kind of person, a servant. He had a servant's heart. He was a server, okay? We understand this, folks, because we see, as I just explained his story again, we see him serving in the Jerusalem church in Acts chapter 1. He's one of the most respected of all the Christians there. We see him as one of the 70 disciples traveling in Jesus' ministry. We see him willing to become the 12th apostle if that was what the Lord wanted. He was so willing. All he wanted to do with his life was serve the Lord. Amen. But now here we go. <clears throat> um, someone that is a server. Now, folks, please understand what I'm about to tell you with the, with the next two things up here may not have been with about justice, okay? But all that I'm doing here, I'm trying to get us to see what kind of person they were. Now, people that have a servant's heart, just think about it. Of course, we know Jesus had a servant's heart. We see many others in the scripture who um, I think about Mary Magdalene, how she was a, had that servant's heart. And uh, um, many others, I, I, you could go on and on. But people that have a servant's heart just have some wonderful qualities that make them a very special person and very valuable to a church. I believe some of Justice's qualities was that he was very helpful and willing. Now, please excuse me, my marker's not writing too great today. I hope you can see this well. But as someone that is a, has a servant's heart, they love to help people. They love to jump in, be busy, and help. And that's a wonderful thing. And also, I wrote the word willing. Folks, that's one of the biggest things about justice. He was so willing. He would travel if he needed to. He would stay in Jerusalem if he needed to. He would do whatever was required of him. And he did all of it in the background. He never owned the spotlight. Okay? Now, sometimes though, next of all here, sometimes those that have a very big servant's heart, sometimes they have some... Um, some weaknesses, though. Now, this is nothing uh, to take away from how special he is. But sometimes when someone has a servant's heart, please listen very carefully. Their instinct is to just jump right in and help or volunteer. And sometimes those kind of people... Uh, may not have sought the Lord enough to say, Lord, is this your will for me? Or would you have me doing this other thing? 
You see, someone like Justice would have to be careful. They have such a wonderful servant's heart that they just want, when they hear of someone with a need or something needs done or this position needs filled, they just jump in and fill it without maybe praying enough about it. Maybe that wasn't God's will. So what I'm trying to say is a weakness that he may have struggled with was um, was I'm just going to say making sure of God's will. Okay. But wow, I mean what a thing to be said about you that you love to serve so much that you have to be careful, you know, that you're not trying things, you know, it, it's just that that is a definitely a weakness uh, that he could have had. And folks, the verse, we've already learned this back in the last round, Psalms 37, 6. is a verse that basically says that if you commit to the Lord that he will reward you openly. You see justice was always in the background. However you know sometimes you think what I'm doing isn't being recognized but we see with justice that if you're faithful to God in the background he will reward you and I believe that God has rewarded this man. So folks, that is the story of justice. You ask me, he's worthy of a vote to go to the championship. But we have another man here today that is just as worthy. And his name is Epaphroditus. And he is our number one rank in our tournament. I want to point out that in six tournaments that we have done now, over a year, we have never had the number one rank to win the tournament. Epaphroditus might be the first to do that. Let's see about him. Keep in mind, folks, this video is so important. The winner goes to the championship, the final video, which we'll have most likely on Friday of this week. Now, I just want to remind you about him. We meet him in the book of Philippians. The Apostle Paul brags on this man. He has an incredible story. We're told that he loved the Philippian church so much. We're told that he, uh, he longed and desired to be with the Philippian church. Folks, that church was super special. We're told that that church had a heart for missionaries, for giving to missions. And we're told that this man worked so hard that his body was giving out on him. The Bible says he got so sick that he was near death. And it says he got that way because of the work of Christ. I'm, I, you know, I think I said this in a previous video. It makes me think about my pastor. Now, thank the Lord he, he's not near death uh, by no means, but he's dealing with a lot of physical problems. But you know what? He just keeps on serving God. And that's what Epaphroditus did. He, his body was giving out on him, but he just would not stop. He kept working for the Lord. But it got to a point where he was about to die, and God did a miracle and saved his life. But one thing that's so special about him, when he was about to die which God cured him of, but when he was about to die, he wasn't afraid for his own life. He was burdened because he knew it was going to hurt people if he died. He knew people loved him and he loved them. And it really hurt his heart that the Philippian church would be very sorrowful over that. So what a person, folks. He's ranked number one in this tournament. Now, we learned last...
video on him that his personality was that he was dedicated. Okay? Dedicated. Now, please understand, folks, when I say dedicated here, that doesn't mean that justice was not dedicated. And when I say that justice had a servant's heart, that doesn't mean Epaphroditus didn't. But I think this is the number one quality of these people. I think Epaphroditus was so dedicated, and it's obvious. Folks, he was so dedicated to God and to serving the church that even as his health was failing him, he was so dedicated, he pressed through it. He kept serving God. Okay? Now, someone that has a very dedicated type personality and character, they possess some good qualities. Here are a couple of good qualities that I believe, based on Epaphroditus' personality, I think he possessed these qualities. I think he had a great work ethic and cared deeply. Okay? And that's obvious. You, you probably can guess that even before I even said it. The qualities of a very dedicated person like him is his work ethic. Folks, even as his body was failing him, many people would just give up. He kept going and working hard. His work ethic, and he did it not just because he liked to work for the Lord, but because he cared deeply for those that he was serving, okay? But now, folks, on the flip side here, someone with this kind of personality that has these wonderful qualities sometimes has some struggles and some weaknesses and here it is someone that is so dedicated they may get to a point like he did where his health was failing him and they may come to a point when they don't know when to stop now, I've seen some in my family. Actually, I'm thinking of at least two. Two different people in my family that sometimes they don't know when to stop. Now, folks, I'm all for working super hard and just being so dedicated and committed. But there are times that you must take care of yourself. Please never forget that. And Epaphroditus, something tells me that there may have been some people warning him, not telling him to stop working for the Lord, but maybe to monitor what you're doing. But yet he kept on and kept on, and it got him on the point where he was on his deathbed. You see, folks, the Bible does say that our body is the temple of the Lord, and that we do need to take care of our body. And I'm not saying Epaphroditus did wrong. But what I'm saying is I think it's possible that, that maybe others were warning him and maybe he wasn't listening. You see, if you die, then, you know, maybe there, were, there was more things you could have accomplished, okay, um, had you have taken care of yourself better. Folks, I understand God has a time for us all to go. But I do think he wants us to take care of our health. So I think this could have been some weaknesses of Epaphroditus. Uh, and I'm just going to write up here, know when to stop. Okay. So I'm just simply going to write that. Know when to stop. Know when to take care of yourself. Now that doesn't mean stop altogether. But that means monitor. Take care of yourself, you know. If, you're, if you lose your health, then you may not be able to serve the Lord as well, you know. And folks, last of all, we've already learned this. The verse that I think sums him up the best 
we find in John 15 and verse 13. Folks, that verse is a wonderful verse. Um, that verse, Jesus said, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Folks, I believe Epaphroditus had that so much dedication that he was willing to lay down his life. Literally, just his health failed him, and he was okay with that because he knew he was doing it for the church and for Christians, you see. So, Jesus said there's no greater love than that to lay down your life for others. So folks, wow. To me, this feels like a championship video. These two men are both so worthy to go to the final video on Friday, but only one of them will advance. Which person of these two inspires you more? Is it the wonderful serving justice who was in the background his whole life, willing to do whatever volunteering for all these things and uh, and just so highly respected and busy or as an Epaphroditus very dedicated cared deeply almost lost his life almost lost his health because he kept on going for the Lord okay so folks I've, I've done the best that I can which one inspires you more? Please cast your vote for the winner today. And uh, please tune in for our next video as we see who else goes to the championship. Will it be Simon of Cyrene or Epaphras? We will see you next time. I hope you have a great day, a great evening. Take care and God bless you.